Hi third graders, I'm really excited to be here with you today. I've loved reading your comments about where in the world you'd like to visit if you could go anywhere. They're all really interesting and really unique to you. So I have a few reminders for you all this morning, this Monday morning on our third week of distance learning. First, we're going to have a class-wide lunch on Wednesday again. And this time we're gonna have kind of a theme for our class-wide lunch. Our theme is going to be, where in the world have you been or where would you like to go? So last week we learned that in Zoom you can make a really cool background for yourself so it's not your house behind you anymore or you know your bedroom. You can put things behind you like the beach or the Coliseum or any anywhere in the world. I know that um, the Golden Gate Bridge is one of the options on Zoom. So if you want to play that play with us or discuss with us where you've been before, download a picture of you on vacation or a landscape of a place that you've been on vacation, and then you can upload that as your background in Zoom. If you don't have any really fun places that you've been or you're like, eh, that was an okay trip, but I really wanna to go to this place, then you can go on Google and find um, an image of the place where you really wanna go and have that be your background. We're going to be sharing about where in the world we want to go or where we have been on our cl classroom lunch on Wednesday. So, get ready for that. Um, our person of the day. So I remember back when I was in elementary school at Cornelia Elementary in Edina, Minnesota, and we used to have these really cool one-person shows. So it would be one actor, they would come in and they'd do this whole show for us about a historical figure. And one that always really stuck with me was Wilma Rudolph. So this one actress or actor, female actor, came in and did the whole life story of Wilma Rudolph. And she's super cool. So that's who we're gonna um, learn about today. This is Wilma Rudolph. She looks like this. She was an Olympian, as you can see from her picture. But let's read a little bit about her. I'll put the website for um, where I'm reading this in the description of this video. It's from biography.com. Wilma Rudolph, she was born in 1940 and she died in 1994. In 1960, Wilma Rudolph became the first African American woman, or excuse me, became the first American woman to win three gold medals in track and field at a single Olympics. Who was Wilma Rudolph? Wilma Rudolph was a sickly child who had to wear a brace on her left leg. So, when Wilma was young, she was diagnosed with polio, which isn't a disease that we really deal with today because there's vaccination, but what polio does is it's, um, it hurts your muscles. So eventually you can't walk anymore. So she had polio, so she had to wear a brace on her leg, but she overcame her disabilities to become the first American woman to win three gold medals in the Olympics. Let's read on. Wilma Rudolph was a sickly child who had to wear a brace on her left leg because of polio. She overcame her disabilities in the 1956 Summer Olympic Games. In the 1960, she became the first American woman to win three gold medals in track and field at a single Olympics. Later in life, she formed the Wilma Rudolph Foundation to promote, promote amateur athletics. Early life. Rudolph was born prematurely on June 23rd, 1940. That means she was born early, so her mom wasn't ready to give birth, but she came early anyway. In St. Bethlehem, Tennessee, on the 20th, she was the 20th of 22 children born to Dad Ed across his two marriages. Can you imagine being the 20th child of 22? So if you're interested in Wilma Rudolph, I think that she encapsulates what it means to have fortitude. She had disabilities and she overcame them to be an Olympic athlete, a gold medal winning athlete. Okay, so she is our historical person for today and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great day, bye.